So the point is what is layout? So basically layout is a 2D environment where you set up or you arrange your design for the printing it into a paper. So ultimately when you are created when you create a design in AutoCAD the ultimate task is to just print it into a paper so in the layout you can arrange your designs according to your need and you can just print it accordingly so let's just see from where to start the lay, uh, layout and from where to work on it so basically here in the uh, this is known as the model space where you work and create your design but right below over here you can see that these are the tabs for the layout so you can just click on this tab and ultimately you are going to land up on the layouts. So these are very random layouts, but we are going to see how we can just create it by our own choice. So these are the two layouts that is by default provided. If you want to add up more layout, you can just click on this plus button and a new layout will going to be created. So you can see that now there are three layouts over here, layout number one, layout number two and three. This is the model space where you work and ultimately you can switch between the model space and the layouts. But right now this layout is very random because here what is the paper size we don't know but we want a, a paper size also. So let's just see how we can just edit this layout. So let's see that we want to edit this layout number three that we have created. So right click over this layout number three and you can see that a pop up will going to appear and in this pop up you can you have to select the page setup manager. So we have to set up the page. So just click on this page setup manager and you can see that currently these three types of page setups are available. But we want to create a new page with our own uh, parameters. So we are going to click on this new. And you can see that uh, it will going to ask you to name the papers uh, setup that you create. So my set page layout, you can just name it like that. So this is my page layout that we have created. Just make it okay. And now a page setup manager will going to open. From here, you have to select what kind of paper size that you want. Basically in the plotter and printer, just make it none. So more types or more sizes of papers are available. You can see that. Let's say that we want it in the A3 size, which is 297 into 420 mm. So just click on that and you can see that this paper size has been selected. And in the plot area, what to plot, we have to select the layout. Don't select any other things. You just have to select the layout over here. And now here in the plot style table, whatever thing that you want, like if you are going to select acad.ctb, it will going to print all the things that uh, with their colors so if you have given different colors to the objects then it will going to print with that colors only but if you are going to select the gray scale it will only going to print it in the gray scale format only the gray or black and white will going to be available it will going to make everything black and white basically let's just make it as in the acad.ctb and once we have done everything over here and no need to do much more over here only these things are important and just make it um, okay so plot scale also you can select like one is to one that will be the better that will be better basically just make it okay and you can see that my, my page layout has been created over here now you have to click on that and you have to click on this set current and accordingly you can see that the paper size has been set up so this is the new paper that we have created Similarly, you can just click on this plus again a new layout will going to be layout number four will going to be available right click over that just change the page setup manager and you have already created the page setup. Uh, so you just have to select if you want that page setup only just make it as set current and accordingly you can see that the paper has been set up. If you want to delete any layer you can just right click over that and delete it if you want. So till now we have seen about how to get started with the layout and how to uh, basically create your own page setup. Now we are going to see how we can import the viewports which is very important. Here in this paper that we have created which is layout number 4 you can see that a default viewport is provided in which uh, you can see that both the designs basically I have copied that design uh, for uh, the uh, teaching purpose. So you can see that over here both the designs are showing up. But this is a very random viewport. So we are going to delete this viewport and we are going to create our own viewport. So I have done nothing. I have selected the viewport and I have pressed the delete button. Now, once you are inside the layout, you can see that here in the uh, tab, over, 
tab over here in this toolbar you can see that a layout or a temporary layout tab will going to be appear click on that tab and you are going to land up into the layout tab over here you can see that this is the viewport from here you have to import that viewport so the most common one is this rectangular viewport you just have to create a rectangle and accordingly inside that the viewport will going to be created so we are going to select that only first so I'm going to click on this rectangular viewport and you can see that it will going to ask you to specify the corner points as you create rectangle in AutoCAD. The same process is there. Click on the point and accordingly you can see that you have to uh, set up the opposite corner and accordingly it has created a rectangle and inside that rectangle you have created that viewports or basically the views of the design. Now once we have created our viewport, it's time to just uh, edit or arrange the design. Let's say that we don't want these two copy over here. We want only one design. So how to edit this? You have to go inside this viewport. So to go inside this viewport, you have to type PMS on the command box. Just press enter. And once you type MS, which is the model space, you are inside the model space of this viewport. Now the just like zoom process that you do in AutoCAD uh, for the for just use of the scroll button you just zoom in and zoom out the objects similarly you can just arrange it inside the viewport and click by clicking on the scroll button you can just pan the objects over here you can see that you can move the objects so accordingly you can just set up the views that you want like i want only this uh, one over here so i'm going to arrange it like that and I can just zoom in and zoom out accordingly and accordingly it will going to create the image. Now once uh, we have set up what we want to uh, view what we want to uh, basically see in this viewport. So once done you have to type PS in the command box. So once you type the PS in the command box you can see that you are going to get out or you, the viewport will uh, model space will going to be get exit and you are now you your viewport has been set up similarly you can create multiple viewports so here you can see that there are other options as well like if you want a polygon viewport you can click on this and it will ask you to create the polygon with the use of line and accordingly uh, with this it has it will going to create the viewport like this so once you have created the random polygon that you want press the escape button okay not escape button sorry uh, you have to press the enter button like this you have created the polygon press the enter button and you can see that accordingly in that viewport it has created the views similarly there are other one as well which is the object viewport so here for this you have to create the objects so any random object let's just create a circle and we can use this circle as our viewport once we have created the circuit using the drawing toolbar, I am going to ins go inside the layout tab again and from here I am going to select the object then it will going to ask you to select the viewport object. I am going to select the circle and you can see that it will going to be uh, the circle is now behaving as a viewport. So with the help of this you can create the viewports and you can even clip the viewport like let's say that you want to clip out uh, this uh, rectangular viewport click on this clip and select the viewport that you want to clip and just um, select the clipping object so firstly you have to create the clipping object we are going to create a circle as our clipping object and then go for the layout clip select the viewport that you want to clip select the object that will going to behave as a clipping object and you can see that now the viewport has been clipped into the circle I'm pressing the control Z for this. So this is how you can create different kinds of viewport and arrange your design accordingly. So till now we have seen about how to add up different kinds of viewport. Now we are going to see how we can just set up the scale of the viewport. So till now we have seen how to just randomly zoom in and zoom out the object. Like let's say that we have created a viewport over here and object has been created. Now just go for the MS and as you can just change up the model scale. Uh, but uh, these are not with the scale. So we have to create it using the scale. So we know that this diagram is one is to one scale. So we have to fit the object in one is to one scale of the viewport. 
so over here you can see that in in the downward over here in this toolbar you will see that there is a viewport scale you can adjust the scale over here click on this and the list of all the scales will going to be available select the scale that you want like we want it in a one is to one scale so i'm going to click on this one is to one and you can see that accordingly this object has been set up so over here like i have set up like this and just go for the one is to one and you can see that accordingly it will going to set up according to the viewport So till now we have seen about how to add up the layout and how to create the viewports on it. Now it's time to just print the design that we have created. So I have created one sample over here and now I'm, I want to print it. So how to just print it? So you just have to go for the plot over here. So click on this plot and once you clicked on this plot, it will going to open the plot for the layout or plot or a print for the layout. From here, you don't have to change much more things. You just have to uh, basically in the plot area, you have to select the layout and you have to select the printer or the plotter. So you can select any printer that is available and you can even go for the drawing to PDF. Once you are going to click on this drawing to PDF and you just have to go for the preview and you can see that this is how it will going to print the layout that we have created. Click on the OK button and it will going to save that. It will going to ask you for the directly where you want to save. I'm going to make it as viewport, my viewport. That will be better. I will go to name. Uh, so this name is better. Just make it save. Just it will going to create the PDF. And you can see that this has created my uh, basically layout. So this is all you need to know as a beginner of a layout, you have seen how to add up the layout, how to create different viewports and ultimately we have seen how to print it. I hope that this lecture will going to be useful for you.